Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and let's learn how we can implement a hidden item achievement or trophy in Unity. Don't forget, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon as well, stay up to date with every tutorial still to come in this mini series, and with that in mind, let's get to work. So, I'm going to use this little coin right here as my little collectible item, and all it is is just a coin that rotates and bobs up and down a little bit. So obviously this can be used for any item in the game. If you've got maybe a little trophy, maybe you want to have a hidden weapon that you could pick up or anything like that, the same principle will apply. You just have to make sure that on your coin, you have a box collider and you also have it ticked is trigger. So that's gonna be vital at this point. So just like we have done with the previous tutorials in this, what we first need to do is create that achievement UI. So let's go to our canvas, achievement panel. Let's take the last one that we had. So 04, secret area. Hold control, press D to duplicate. Let's rename this to 05, secret item. And I think at this point, if you want to make your um, achievement names here more versatile i.e a bit more meaning to them like this could be secret coin rather than just secret item then obviously that probably works just for you so you would need to do that yourself for me it doesn't really matter too much but you can duplicate the kind of process that we use here so it all makes sense in the end uh, i have the little achievement icon that i'm going to use which basically says top secret so i'm going to drag this over here and yeah, as always, we have that ready to go. So we're going to be working inside our global achievement script. So let's open that up. So in Visual Studio, same principle as last time, we'll start by declaring the variables and we can obviously copy what we have already. So this is going to be achievement 05 specific. And again, maybe it's worth at this point noting what that achievement is rather than just numbering them. So I'm going to take that. Copy, paste, achievement 05 specific. And obviously we could have this as hidden secret coin achievement specific rather than just achievement 05 specific. It's up to you how you want to annotate it. So obviously that becomes achievement 05. Uh, this one becomes five as well. And then this becomes five as well. So once we've done that, same routine as last time, let's take the player pref line right here, change that to atch05 code and change that to atch05 obviously because we set that into position um, we need to set this bit next so still in void update we'll take the last if statement we had for number four duplicate it number five and number five here <clears throat> and we'll have the code as one two three four nine because why not and I'm sure I said it before, you could have these codes as anything. These are just examples. You could have it literally as one, two, three, four, five, as long as you know what you're setting further down, for example, here. Uh, start with coroutine. Even though it doesn't exist yet, same as last time, change it to five. And let's write that coroutine. So let's scroll to the bottom and take this here. Copy it. Paste it and it's going to be five. And then this is going to be five here. So these are the same things that we're doing over and over again. We know where these are now. So you'll notice as this series has gone on, it becomes quicker and quicker to actually implement an achievement. And you could literally take some of these achievements and combine them and make your own achievements rather than just the standard ones that we're doing in this series. Uh, so player prefs right here, we have that as five, this as five, uh, play the sound, change the image and we'll call this one secret in fact have it capitals to fit in line secret coin you created a secret item achievement so then obviously everything resets back to normal so it's always wise just to go quickly go through line by line just to make sure we have everything in place there number five and let's save that head back into unity and we need to go to our achievement log and this is becoming bigger and bigger now but it's not overly complicated so we just need to set that achievement 05 image so drag and drop onto there and i'm just going to save my scene there just for now just in case anything goes wrong 
So this is going to be the key now to making this coin become the achievement or trophy. So let's right click, create, C sharp script. And we'll have this as secret coin. Obviously it doesn't have to be a coin. It could be secret burger if you wanted, if your collectible was indeed a burger. So uh, we don't need void and we don't need start. Uh, sorry, don't, <laughs> not sure why I said that. We don't need void start. We don't need void update. They can go. Uh, it's going to be done via void on trigger enter. And it doesn't need to be private, so we can get rid of that. And much in the same way as we did with the secret trigger, if you remember, it gets to a point where we start a coroutine, but we want to just wait for a moment. So we're going to do the same sort of thing because I like to have a little bit of a delay when um, triggering, say, an achievement or whatever, uh, just because it gives us time to play any other audio, i.e. a collection audio, which we will do in just a moment. So we're going to want to basically use the same process here in Void on Trigger Enter. So let's take those two lines of code and place them inside here. And obviously we want to play sound when we pick up our coin, so public audio source and pick sounds and you've probably already got this in place so this is just something I'm adding for a bit of extra effect so pick sound dot play and now we need to write our coroutine so I enumerator and we'll call this trigger the coin Open close bracket, open curly bracket, and heading back to secret trigger, it is pretty much the same sort of thing again. So we could literally copy those two lines of code, head back to secret coin, paste them here. Uh, we'll wait for one and a half seconds again, and global achievements dot trigger achievement five. Remember, you have to change this each and every time. Just be conscious and be wary as you build more and more achievements, not to mix them up because you don't want to do something and accidentally trigger another achievement. Last thing we have to do here is change the coroutine. So it's not secret cave, it's trigger the coin and save that script. <clears throat> Head back to Unity and we attach this script to whatever item you have. Obviously in this case, as I've said, it's a coin. So let's drag that script onto there. And we just need to fill in that audio. You probably don't, like I said, you've probably already got that. And I'm going to use an audio sound that we had previously. I think it was in the very first tutorial of this series, I think. So I'm just going to drag and drop that sound over here. Save my scene once again. And let's press play. I'm not sure how far away we are from it. Oh, it's at the top of that hill there. So let's head up our hill and collect our coin. There we go. So obviously the coin still appears. Uh, all you would need to do is just disable that coin uh, via a script. I, I guess I could probably quickly do that if I wanted to. Um, which would be uh, best thing to do because we're triggering it and then waiting for a second. Uh, what we'll do is I'll declare the actual coin itself so uh, public game object the coin semicolon right after we've played the sound the coin dot set active false semicolon save because obviously this item here this game object is basically just the collider for it the coin is inside it so i'm just going to disable it by putting it there Saving it and let's check that out once again. Obviously, you would do it whatever way you want to. I'm just doing this for effect now. So, that is the main part of how we program that achievement. So, once we collect it, disappears. Gone. Obviously, we've already triggered the achievement, so that's fine. So, speaking of triggering those achievements, uh, the next tutorial that we're going to do in this series is not going to be about creating. An achievement or trophy it's going to be specifically about creating a screen which allows you to track your achievements or trophies so for example we'd have a screen with a black and white version 
of this um, achievement icon. This one, this one, this one. And it says whether we've unlocked it or not. And obviously, as we unlock it, that would appear. So the screen will update real time. And it's all based on uh, player prefs. So just keep that in mind. Because I know it's been requested already um, that we create a screen like that. And it is not complicated, but it's, it's a lot of fun to work with. Um, so I look forward to doing that tutorial. Uh, if you have any more ideas or you'd like to see any different types of achievements or trophies in this series, please leave a comment below and let me know. You can create an achievement or trophy for virtually anything. And we've created five already. Some are roughly based on the same mechanics. Like our original collection is based roughly on the same mechanic as our coin collection here. Um, but we can have all kinds of different trophies and achievements. So you just let me know which ones you would like to see. So guys, I hope we're learning something now. And uh, as I say, the next tutorial is going to be a lot of fun. It may go on a bit long, but hopefully not. So guys, until that next tutorial, thank you very much for watching.